Hey everybody, thanks for dropping by. This week, boredom is for suckers. I'm gonna show you how I did that. Plus there's a short gradient tutorial, first run of the summer, and I'm gonna take you behind one of my scariest art projects. Y'all ready for that? I've been really lucky to be able to work with lights in some of my art projects. In one art project, we used a timer. It was this one. And it broke down uh, it's a mechanical timer so what I'm going to do is replace it with this one which is an electrical timer and hopefully it lasts I'm about to head down to get it done but before I go check out my hat bought it during the winter on Amazon because you can't get cool stuff like this where I'm from and now that it's finally warm I get to wear it it's moments like this you need to strut <laughs> We're here. My appointment's always late though, so we might just have a little bit of time to goof off a bit. You need to strut. I'm just gonna quickly talk about the fact that Absolutely. I did this art project. So in this old building, which is pretty, pretty old and pretty nasty, but it's a heritage building in Calgary. So we're doing some artwork to keep it alive and happy for the residents who live upstairs and for the people who pass by because there's no real lights on the street we have lights for the chandeliers it used to be a speakeasy so we did a tribute to that as well as part of the artwork and so later i'll show you what it looks like at night Okay, right on. Okay. Bye. We'll see you next time. <laughs> okay, see ya. Great matter moment! This tutorial is actually more of a warning than it is a how to. And the warning is once you learn gradients, don't overuse them. It's great to experiment and play, but I've seen in my classes so many times students, once they learn the gradients, they really want to overuse them. And they put way too many colors in them. Use them to make things pop or to make your flats feel less flat, but don't use them just willy-nilly. When you do a radial gradient on a sphere like I have here, the thing you want to remember is that you're going to want to warm up your shadows at some point. So I've gone from a red, a cool red, into a warm brown. Then I have a reflection of the red background. The eyes I want to have a little bit flatter so I'm only going to use a couple colors here I'm going to start with a white and I'm going to go into a really highly tinted version of the background color and that's the arting like a badass gray matter moment
segue in, I just want to talk about this hat. This hat used to be my favorite hat, but now it's been delegated to a running or a working hat. And the reason being is one, the rim is broken. Two, I got paint all over it. So I can't really wear it out anymore, but it works great for keeping the sun off. Subscribe!